If you take the train in Toronto's West End, many days can be a challenge. I took the Up Express in. Looking around me, it's not just office workers who are there. We have security guards who are going to work. We have first responders. We have construction workers. There's a huge element who have been underserved by transit in our neighborhood. For riders in Weston like Haley Fuller, the Up Express train is a vital link to downtown and the airport. What drew us to the Weston neighborhood was really the appeal of the Up Express and the fact that we could get downtown in 15 minutes. It's been such a fantastic thing to have in the community. So when Premier Doug Ford made this announcement, we're here to announce the largest GO train expansion in more than a decade, starting later this month on April 28th. We're adding more than 300 new weekly trips. Fuller says she was hopeful until she heard about this. Every second Up Express train will soon be non-stop between Union Station and Pearson Airport. They kind of buried the fact that they'll be reducing service to our neighborhood um, by 50%. Right now, it takes 25 minutes to go between Union Station and Pearson Airport. Trains stop at Bloor and Weston every 15 minutes. Soon, those stations will be serviced by up trains just every half hour. The changes do seem structured to appeal more to, if not more affluent people, but people who are traveling for business or leisure between Pearson and Union exclusively. And it does feel as though there's a resistance to the appearance of this being a commuter train. After she heard about the changes, Fuller started an online petition. Less than 24 hours later, thousands of people spoke out against what's happening. Fuller notes the new non-stop trains will only save riders a couple of minutes. You are losing from a captive audience who wants and needs this transport. So it's an interesting decision. I would love to see some of the data behind the decisions that were made to save two minutes. We were hearing feedback, a few different kinds of feedback. One was that Up Express trains tended to be quite crowded. Metrolink spokesperson Andrea Ernesax says staff know this is going to impact regular riders. The goal with the changes was really to provide more options to people who are traveling, understanding that there will be impacts to people's schedules, and we understand that, that that can be challenging. We'll continue to monitor it very closely and make sure that we're reactive to people's needs. She says part of the beefed up GO train schedule will help address lost up service. There are a couple of gaps in that, but what we've done is very closely look at ridership to see where the, the most need is. The GO train, again, will be coming very close to a 15 minute service. So you'll have two options. You'll be able to take an up express train or you'll be able to take a GO train. We don't expect people to be left behind. Um, with the new changes for both up express and GO transit, we're gonna have about more than 16,000 almost 17,000 in terms of new seat capacity. I don't think adding additional trains during the day and evening service on the GO line is going to make up for the service being lost, but I do think it's a positive thing overall. More transit is good news. So as Fuller prepares to catch the next up train, she and others hope decision makers will rethink the plan changes. When that is taken from us without consultation from the community it's impacting, that's a problem. So my ask would be, Please reconsider this decision. Please talk to some local leaders. Please take our opinions into account. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.